So here we have the Audi A3 on a 13 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We'll start off inside the boot and work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car you can see we've got plenty of boot space uh, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and coolant temperature gauge. And on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see there's a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change information that's displayed there for the things you see on the screen at the moment. Uh, and now you can see the total miles for this car, which are only 37,623. So very low mileage for the car's age. Directly beneath that, it will show you what gear this vehicle is in. It's an automatic, so we are, of course, in park at the moment. If we back out to the steering wheel, uh, over on the left-hand side, we have the buttons I was using to change the information up here. We have our volume for our stereo over this side, phone controls as well, and cruise control underneath that. Just behind the steering wheel, the minus and plus pedal so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox. And then over in the center, we have the main screen for the car. So uh, you can see we've got satellite navigation, lovely clear color display. It's a really easy system to uh, use as well. Uh, we're now back on the main menu. All the movement you see me making on the screen I'm doing using this dial just here. Uh, you can use the collection of buttons that surround it so you can go into your satellite navigation, your telephone, for example, uh, back to your main menu from down here. These four buttons relate to the four corners of the screen, which will become useful uh, within certain menus. So for example, if we want to go to the radio menu, you can rotate that dial, push it down, and now you can see the four corners of the screen, memory, waveband, settings, and functions. So if you go top right-hand corner, uh, we've got DAB, FM, and AM radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you do so under the media heading. And again, top right-hand corner. And as you can see there, we've got Bluetooth audio, Audi's multimedia interface. We've got a CD player and SD memory card input as well. And then you pay your phone under the telephone heading just there. Uh, just below that, we have a button that will shut that screen away should you find uh, that it's uh, a distraction, say nighttime driving, for example. We've also got our stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. The system is off when that light shows. We have our hazard warning lights, traction control, the button I showed you a moment ago, and drive select will change the driving setup of the car. Uh, so you can put it into comfort, auto, dynamic as well. Underneath that, if we turn the fan speed on, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature you can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed once it enters the car. When you're happy with those settings, the air conditioning's on at the minute. That's off, back on again. Or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that at any time you wish to. We have a 12 volt charging socket just there. The gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox and then the volume for the stereo along with the buttons I went through just a moment ago. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.